Hey guys, this is a response video to Black Friday needs to quit her crap. It is also kind of a response to a video that sparked that video by Fright Summers. If you haven't seen either of these two videos, I will link them down below. It is quite controversial, so if you like that kind of thing, keep watching. I'm Evelina Demore, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to talk about some things today that I don't normally speak about. My channel hasn't really delved into controversial topics before. I like to stay neutral. Think of me as Switzerland. But when such nasty things are being said about someone I actually know, that didn't really sit well with me. So hence I'm sitting down today to film this video for you. It might help if you watch the other videos first, because then you will have a broader understanding of what the fuck I'm talking about. So let's assume you have watched them, and I will start with my opinion. Let's start with the video entitled, An Aging Goth Black Friday Needs to Quit Her Crap. Clickbait much? <laughs> anyway, what a nasty little piece of work. His video would have been hurtful if he had have known the person. To speak like that to someone that you know, or about someone that you know, would have been really hurtful. What is ridiculous about his video is that he doesn't know Black Friday. He has made a lot of accusations about this beautiful person, and a lot of it is just bullshit. And my response to you, young man, <laughs> is you are giving Goth a bad name. It is your nasty attitude that is giving Goth a bad name. Why you would even sit down when you're in such a bad mood and unmedicated, as you mentioned, to make such a nasty, hateful video, to me, is ungoth. The goth subculture is not about hate. There's all this talk about community and supporting other goths. Goths come in all shapes and forms. Some goths have money, some goths don't have money. We don't hate on the goths that do have money. We don't hate on the goths that are successful. But it seems that you do, my friend. And you need to have a deep, hard look inside yourself as a person and figure out why you hate Black Friday so much. And honestly, to me, it came across as jealousy. In regards to everyone hating and putting down people that wear Killstar, I personally love Killstar. They are the fucking best brand. I'm so glad Tequila Star invented Killstar. They have some of the best stuff out there. Their lifestyle stuff is off the hook now. They're doing betting. They know their audience and they're catering really well to our subculture. If you don't like them, don't buy them. If you don't like a whole video that Toxic Tears or Black Friday doesn't kill stuff, don't watch it. It's very simple. Don't waste your time and energy and make a hate video. How is that helping the world? The answer is it isn't. It just makes us look bad. Most of the goths aren't like you in our subculture, and I have had the privilege of not meeting anyone quite like you, and I hope that I never do. I like to surround myself with positive people, and that you so openly make insinuations and accusations on someone's private relationship, a romantic relationship, well, that doesn't sit well with me at all. I actually know what happened, okay? And what you're saying couldn't be further from the truth. But am I going to publicly make a video on it? No, because it's none of my fucking business. And it's none of yours either. It's really and truly none of your business because you don't even know her. You're not even a distant acquaintance. You need to make videos about things that make you happy and continue with that. And maybe your subscriber count will increase when you start doing that. Fright Summers made an interesting video where she tallied up all of the items over a course of a year that Black Friday and Toxic Tears were given, and that total came to $7,720 for the items that were gifted to Black Friday. Her video was entertaining, but I found it a little misdirected and uncompassionate. It was very one-sided in the way that it just focused on the monetary value of the things that Black Friday was given, and hasn't really focused on what was involved for Black Friday to do in order to receive these things. And that's what I want to speak about a little bit. And I think that once you hear my point of view, you will say, hey, you know what? That actually seems fair. It actually might be a little unfair. What's been buzzing about and coming up in conversations recently with me on Instagram and Facebook when I talk to my followers and things like that is the goth scene being so expensive and elitism and all that. I'm not going to go into that at all. But I honestly don't think it's elitism, I think it's jealousy. It's human nature to be jealous of someone else that has more things than you. But how you grow as a human being and become a nicer person is to accept where you are in life and if you don't like it, try to make changes, get a better education. We don't just put shit on other people that are in better situations than us. That's, that's not cool. How is putting shit on someone that might be more well off than you going to make your life better? It's not. But you know what? Negativity and hate are addictive. That's why there's so many hate videos out there. 
That's why the world hates, hates, hates. Look at what happened with Kat Von D recently. They just hate everyone. Fucking hate. Let's forget about all the, the great work she's doing with animals and all the money she donates to great causes and the positive role model she is for young women. Let's just completely fucking abandon and forget about all of that because of one choice she made that really has nothing to fucking do with us. It's about her family and her family is fucking private. I was really quite disappointed in some friends where they've just completely disassociated themselves with her. I'm like, what, we're not even allowed to make mistakes anymore? And, like, what if it's not a mistake? What if Kat knows this secret knowledge that we don't yet know? Because honestly, I didn't research it. My sons have been vaccinated. Did I research what was in it? No. Was I told by society that it was the right thing to do? Yes. Did I do it? Yes. Did I really, really look into what was being put in my child? Nope. And have you really researched what's being given apart from being told by the masses that it's the right thing to do? Just for a second, let's think. Just for a second. Hypothesize, it won't hurt you, I promise. What if she's right? I'm not saying she is, and again, my children are vaccinated. But what if she did a lot of research, hypothetically, and she hypothetically found that there was some hypothetical thing that might hypothetically harm her child? Eh? It's completely fucking possible. Maybe in 10 years' time it'll come out and we'll be like, fuck. Cat knew some shit because she researched some shit. Maybe she's totally wrong. Maybe her child will get polio and fucking die. That would be a fucking terrible thing to happen. But you know what? That is on her. That was her decision. And I'm getting a little off track here, but my point is it's her decision. It's none of our fucking business. Do we need to hate her and never fucking associate ourselves with anything that she ever does again? No. Are you fucking stupid? Why are we so unforgiving? Why? Like, we're human. We're not fucking robots. Where is the empathy? Being a mother is hard. Being a new mother is even harder. Why can't we have some fucking sympathy for what she's going through? And why, don't, why do we need to hate so much? My world is not dominated by hate or jealousy. That's why I don't tend to do these videos on my channel. But when so much bullshit is being said about someone that I actually know, I had to speak up. So this is going to be a little bit ranty. I think I'm jumping from column A to B, but I'll, we'll come back to A and it will make sense. <laughs> so I briefly explained that Fright Summer's video accumulated the worth of goods that Black Friday was given and that that total came to 7,000 something dollars. Honestly, when I heard that title, I was like, oh, is that all? Where she was like, oh my God, that's a lot of fucking money. I, I can drop a thousand dollars on Killstar easily. I don't own a single credit card. Whatever I spend is my own money. Does that make me more or less goth? Do I have to be poor to be goth? What happens if I'm well off? Can I still be goth? So many fucking questions, my head is exploding. So I want to do a little breakdown for you on the other side of the fence. So we've had Fright Summer's opinion, which was it's completely outrageous, it's so much money, it's entitled, it's making young goths think that this is normal. She's a goth YouTuber, it's not normal. She's very successful. She has, what, 600,000 subscribers? That is not normal. She is up here. She's like a modern day rock star. Any YouTuber with over 500,000 subscribers is not living a normal life. It's not a normal job. You sit in front of the camera and film yourself. That is, that is not normal. It's probably going to make you quite fucking insane. And these people are like rock stars. And when you look at rock stars, they get endorsements from guitar brands like Gibson and things like that. And they have to use that guitar on tour and all the photographs, product placement. It's been around forever. It's not like this new thing. It's always been there. YouTuber is relatively new. And companies have realized that this is a good way to pair promotion with someone that is high up in the hierarchy of the gothic community. There's nothing wrong with that. I love Black Friday's haul videos. I love Jade the Libra's Killstar haul videos and Dolls Kill haul videos. I watch them all the time. There's nothing wrong with liking pretty things for yourself. There's also nothing wrong with thrifting. If that's where you're at and that's what you want to do, that's fine too. But I don't think you should put down people that can afford to buy nice things for themselves. That's, that's just jealousy. It all comes back to jealousy. Fright Summers said that over the course of the year, Black Friday did 14 haul videos. That's roughly one a month. I think that's nicely spaced, don't you? One haul video a month. It's good. In between all the other spooky content that she releases. Okay. Have a think about this for a second. 14 videos, $7,000 in merchandise, not cash. Let's divide that by 14 videos. You get about $550. $550 doesn't seem that much to me. Let's have a think about what goes into making a YouTube video. An hour and a half to get ready to do your makeup. You don't have to do that for a normal job. 
you just get ready and go to work wherever you're working. Part of Black Friday's job and many other YouTubers' jobs is to look a certain way before we go on camera. That is part of what attracts our audience, so we need to include that. So an hour and a half to get ready. The actual filming of the video, let's say it's a Killstar try on video. They take longer to film because you've got to talk about the item and then you've got to try it on, you've got to like maybe try on 10 outfits. It's crazy, it can take a few hours. So let's say three hours for that. So now we're already at about five hours and then editing. It could easily take me three or four hours, sometimes five hours if it's a long video. So let's say 10 hours work goes into each video. Per video, she receives $550 worth of merchandise. You divide that by 10 hours, that's $50. Don't you think $50 an hour for one of the biggest YouTubers in our subculture is completely reasonable? Now think about this. She's being paid in merchandise. Is merchandise going to put food on the table? No. Is it going to pay her electricity bill or rent? No. So can she be in this privileged position but still have monetary issues? Absolutely. You know YouTubers cut down the amount of money that they're giving their YouTubers. So I would do the same thing, not mention that things were sponsored to try to get a little bit of money from YouTube. Otherwise, you know, I'm going to say at some point it's not worth doing it because this was my job, I was getting paid, but now I'm not. Imagine if you were at your job and you work 9 to 5, 40 hours a week, and then your boss came along and said, hey, you need to do the same thing, but we're now only going to pay you a quarter of what you did. You know what you would say? You would say, hey, fuck you, I quit. But these YouTubers are still making this content for you. They're getting paid minimally and now they're having to look at getting alternative work, like proper normal jobs, because they can't live off just being a YouTuber anymore. And then when I see these hate videos, they're like, oh, it, was... it just doesn't sit well with me. We need less hate and more love. I understand why Fright Summers made that video, but I also think it was very one-sided and she needs to think on the other side of the fence what actually is involved in getting all of that. I also realized that Black Friday is a fucking YouTube rock star. She is gonna get things that we're not entitled to, and that's okay. And if young goths watching her haul videos are like, ooh, I can't afford all this stuff, firstly, if they're thinking of buying everything that Freya is showing in one haul video, you might have a shopping addiction, okay? Because she might show 15 items. Any sane person is not going to go to the Killstar website and buy every single item. If you do, you probably need to see a counsellor and get some help, because that is not normal. I shop a lot, but I've never done that. I've never watched someone's haul and bought every single item. We are all individual. I will watch a haul video, and then I might find one item that I love, or two items at most, and then I might buy it in the future. But I have a brain, and I can think for myself. It's really stupid of other people in our subculture to think that Freya is damaging young people because they're going to feel like they need to buy all of this stuff. Freya isn't saying buy all of this, she's saying hey this stuff is really cool, I like it, I think you might like it too. It's obvious that the next step is for you to use your brain and figure out if you like it and then if you can afford it possibly buy one or two items yourself. It's not a prerequisite to buy everything, that's just fucking stupid. Young goths don't have money, you know what, get a job. I started working when I was 14, I've always earned money. I would work at the cheesecake shop, that was my first job. I loved it because I get to grate the chocolate and whip the cream and half of it went missing because it was in my belly. But I've always been working. I've understood that money doesn't grow on trees and if you want to buy things for yourself, you need to earn money. So if you don't have a job, go out and get one. If you can't afford Killstar, then have a look at what you're spending money on. Do you smoke? Do you drink? I don't do either of those things. I've always been smart with my money. I don't have any credit cards. And if I buy something, it's because the money is there and I can afford to do it. And I encourage you to do the same. You know, don't hate on other people that already have these things that you might want. And if you don't want them, then don't watch the video. If you don't like Black Friday's haul videos, unsubscribe. You don't have to make a hate video. What is wrong with the world? I'm going to end this video by saying that I will have a Dolls Kill video on my channel very shortly. A haul. Oh my god, unsubscribe if you don't want to see that. And my massive Sephora haul. I spent $2,000 of my own money that I earned working really hard. At Sabora. It was over three trips, so it's, it's not that bad. <sighs> so if you don't like these type of things, that's fine. You can unsubscribe from my channel. I had a person recently on Instagram message me um, when I mentioned that I was going to do my upcoming Dolls Kill haul, and they said, Ooh, are you sure you want to do that? Considering all the controversy that's going on in the goth subculture. Mind blown. I was like, fuck. I'm going to put what the fuck I want on my channel and continue to do so. Because it's my fucking channel and like I said there is that unsubscribe button if you don't like it. Please don't make hate videos. Find channels that you do like. Find people that are into the same thing as you, be it music, art, clothing, hairstyles, 
hoarding, thrifting, DIYing, whatever the fuck it is, but do it in a positive manner. I hope you've enjoyed this ranty type video. Please subscribe, comment down below, let me know what your thoughts are. Did you enjoy the other people's videos? Do you agree or disagree with what I'm saying? Let me know, I'd love to hear. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.